you know, I don't go around bragging that I know every single little thing there is to know about Star Trek. I know quite a few things, at least I think so, but I don't go off saying that I know everything about it. And when I do find something that is incredibly wrong, I have to bring it to someone's attention. And I found an article yesterday from Screen Rant regarding the galactic barrier and who were the first ones to cross through it. You won't believe this article. The person who wrote the article claims that Discovery was the first vessel to ever break through the barrier. Now the article is from Screen Rant and it is by Rachel Holschult and it was published a day ago. Okay, so Rachel Holschult is a Star Trek featured writer and this is the part that's interesting. Rachel didn't truly fall in love with Star Trek until college, but she has now seen every Star Trek show and film. The Next Generation is her favorite, especially the episodes featuring data of the currently airing shows. Strange New Worlds is the one she loves the most, but the, the third season of Picard was also amazing. Now the summary of this article pretty much tells the story right here. The Galactic Barrier is a star, in Star Trek is a negative energy field at the edge of the Milky Way galaxy that disrupts starships and human bodies. Captain Kirk encountered the Galactic Barrier multiple times in the original series, but never crossed to the other side. In Star Trek Discovery, Captain Brenham and her, her crew crossed through the Galactic Barrier and made contact with Species 10C. Now, go back for a moment. Repeating the top line, Rachel didn't truly fall in love with Star Trek until college, but she has also now seen every show and film. Uh, sorry Rachel, you have not. Yes, in episode 10 of season 4, Discovery does enter the galactic barrier. Yes, it does. And yes, they make it through to the other side, but they were not the first ones. Captain Kirk entered the Galactic Barrier on three separate occasions in TOS, but never crossed through to the other side. Hear that again. Captain Kirk entered the Galactic Barrier on three separate occasions on TOS, but never crossed through to the other side. In Star Trek Discovery Season 4, Captain Michael Brenham took the USS Discovery where no one had gone before and crossed through the Galactic Barrier so wrong in your history. The first time we are introduced to the Galactic Barrier is in the episode where no man has gone before. The Enterprise is attempting to leave the galaxy and encounters the barrier, which leads to disastrous results. The ship is damaged and they have to divert to Delta Vega. At the same time, two of their crew members are developing extraordinary powers that just are tragic for the crew. The galactic barrier was so devastating to the ship and to other vessels that would try to go through it. They were just not capable of handling the negative energy that this thing produced. In Season 2, Episode 22, titled by any other name, the Kelvins took control of the Enterprise and souped up its engines and defensive capabilities of the ship so it could get through the galactic barrier. Now again, so they could get through the barrier. Now remember, Kirk and crew, according to the article, never made it through the barrier. They tried several times, but they never made it through. Well, look at that. They made it through the barrier. Kirk and crew survived to make it through the barrier.
Now think about this, the Kelvin souped up the engines of the Enterprise to make it go faster and get through the through the barrier. But now we have this little section here for talking about Star Trek Discovery. In order to make it through the barrier, Discovery had to stop in pockets of stable space to repair the ship before moving on. My friends, I like reading articles from Screen Ramp, but when I see something wrong, I do have to say something. And trying to take credit or give credit to Star Trek Discovery for doing something that had happened in the original series I just think is wrong. Now, maybe the author made a mistake or wasn't paying attention, but when you consider that she's outlining how much she's a fan of Star Trek and how much she's seen all the episodes, you can't ignore the fact that she's trying to give Captain Burnham credit for something as being the first to be able to break through the barrier when she wasn't the one to do it. Kirk and his crew, thanks to being taken over by the Kelvins, are the ones who were capable of getting through and it didn't stop in any pockets of normal space inside the barrier to repair the ship. They went at it through excessive speeds. That's how they defeated the barrier. Well. My friends, I just wanted to get this out there. I'd like your thoughts, your comments on this. Do you think I'm making a big deal out of nothing? Or do you think um, maybe the author needs to do a little more research before she puts articles like this out there? Drop your comments below. Let me know. And until the next time, my friends, God bless.